Mm -hmm. um, so, Stacy, I was reading about um, Black Kirby. Um, an art duo. Myself and my best friend, collaborator, former professor, uh, John Jennings. And together, when the Avengers movie was about to come out, we were oh. um, looking at the eraser, erasure of um, the artist who had created so many of those Marvel characters we were watching um, in those movies. And his name was Jack Kirby. So Jack Kirby created Captain America, Thor, Iron Man, The Incredible Hulk, The Avengers. And he wasn't getting, um, wasn't being credited as uh, Stan Lee was being credited. They created these characters together. So I wanted to, uh, John and I, um, we, we were like, well, dang, they're erasing his legacy. Um, like this second generation Jewish immigrant you know, his legacy is being erased, like black people's legacy is being erased. Instead of Jack Kirby, they ought to call him Black Kirby, you know? And then we're like, oh, wait a minute. Actually, hold on a minute. <laughs> so Black Kirby um, soon became this moniker that we used um, as we created exhibitions to look at uh, the types of pop culture art that we wanted to see um, and, and, and black mythologies and belief systems mm. and things that we wanted to see in comics as we were growing up, right? So for example, um, in, in, in Nigerian culture, like we, there are, there, there's a God of thunder, <laughs> you know, Shango, right? There's a God of thunder. And, and you know, you know we, we had our Thors, like we have, we have, um, um, for example, like we have a number of different characters yeah, we our our monologue, not our monologue. Pardon me. My our our um, our play on the Incredible Hulk is a character called the Unkillable Buck. Ooh. You know, who is actually in a particular way kind of modeled after um, or inspired by um, Michael Brown, right? So when after um, he when when Michael Brown was killed, um, yep, and that was the character right there. Um, we imagine because the Incredible Hulk is a, a white scientist who gets emotional and he hulks out and he becomes unstoppable. Well, when Michael Brown was killed, uh, the officer Dan Wilson testified and, and called Michael Brown a demon, used words like it to describe him, I think. Um, he said he hung off of him like a rag doll. And I, and I, I think he even said something along the lines of he ran like he ran through the bullets and he feared for his life. He basically described him as the Incredible Hulk. Like he was unstoppable. So what happens with, uh, you know, what happens when a white scientist loses control and destroys an entire city, right? The Incredible Hulk. But what happens when um, a black boy is walking down the street, for example, and um, quote, fits the description? Right, um, and if you notice, like in the Unkillable Buck's hands, the Unkillable Buck's hands, there's an Arizona iced tea and a bag of Skittles. Mm -hmm. Right, referencing Trayvon Martin. Okay. Right, so it's the idea of of um, black people being unkillable, unstoppable, and what does that mean in reference to fear? Right, so John and I are playing on these types of ideas as Black Kirby, but we're taking one of the things that we do is we took Jack, many of Jack Kirby's characters and created these analogs, right? Um, to look at pop culture to, and, and what was, and, and you know, the killing of black people is actually popular culture now. Like you can actually, you know, many black people have been killed on Facebook, for example, live. Philando Castillo died on Facebook live, right, for example. So that is popular culture in a particular way. Um, John and I had to start having these conversations by looking at the culture that was the most inspirational to us, but that we weren't seeing in comics, right? So that's what J uh, Black Kirby initially did. And from there, like we, you know, years later, we went on to create, you know, to make I Am Alfonso Jones with Tony Medina, mm -hmm. right? Um, now we're about to work on another book that I can't talk about yet because it's about to be announced. Okay. Um, but that's a book that I'm actually drawing, but 
uh, drawing and inking, but it's with John's imprint, which is called Megascope. So in a particular way, as he's my editor, uh, it is still a Black Kirby collaboration. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, you know, going back to 2012 when we started making these characters initially, it was really an exhibition just to think about these weightier subject matters. Mm -hmm. But during the Q&A, people would ask us, when were we going to make comics? They want to see an unkillable buck comic. You know, they want to see a Mighty Shango comic book. Mm -hmm. And um, we even have an analog for um, Captain America, who is a soldier at a time who is frozen for many years, right? And comes back in a time where he's out of place. We have an analog for that called Major Sankofa. And Sankofa is the Ghanaian term, um, we, which means to go back and get it. So as we're going into our, our future, we have to purposely go back and get our past and bring it with us very right? cool mm -hmm. it's very very cool but they these they write themselves like we have our mythology we have our belief system we have our our sciences you know um when black people were brought to this country during the middle passage um and to various places throughout the world they weren't enslaving ignorant people stupid people they were enslaving engineers farmers scientists etc right so when you look at who built America and you, you can understand why, you know, so much of Washington, D.C. or many other um, inventions were created by black people, many of them which are undocumented because the slave master would take them, they take the credit for them, right? So, so much, so many black creations are not even documented as being created by black people, right? But it's, it's, you know, we're trying to put this into the work in, in a way that's um, educational, but also entertaining. 